Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Okay, so yes, it's your girl KK here with the actual makeup tutorial. I know it's been a while, but I'm trying to get back in the swing of things, you guys. So today I am using some of my Shop My Stash stuff that I just shopped if you watched that video. If not, I will link it above. Definitely check it out so you can see what I grabbed to use over the next few weeks, month, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm using some of my new Shop My Stash stuff. So if you guys are curious about how it applies on me, my first impression thoughts, things like that, stay tuned. But the palette that I use to create this kind of sunset with a pop of green look is the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. I love this, well, I won't say I love this palette. I love the color story of this palette. I've been wanting to use it for so, so long. It's just so pretty to me. I love it. And this is the look that it created. So this is what I use today. I won't give you any spoiler alerts if you want to check out the little tutorial definitely do that and you can hear my thoughts and see the application for yourself so yeah I use this today I also went on my lid as you can see I have green on my lid and I wanted to play with some of my magical makeup shimmers so this is the one that I use today they don't label their shadows so I have to try and figure out what I wrote on here I think it says pixie power yeah, I think it says Pixie Power, but this is the shadow that I have on my lid. So gorgeous. And it was kind of like a trial and error thing as far as how it worked best for me. You guys know I don't like using my finger to apply shimmers and stuff on my lid, but I kind of had to to apply this one. So anyways, you'll see as we get further into the video. But yeah, that's it for today, you guys. I just totally wanted to put on some makeup, do a little voiceover situation. And so that's what I'm doing. So if you'd like, oh, and this is the Good Apple KVD Foundation, okay? So if you want to see that applied on me and hear my thoughts, <laughs> first impression thoughts, definitely stay tuned. So yeah. Let's go ahead and jump into this look and see how everything went. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So I am prepping my eyelids today using my Ulta Beauty Matte Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm just blending that in with this little brush that I got from Rare Beauty. I think it's actually for concealer or something, but it works nicely to blend out my eye primer. <laughs> so... This is the palette, the Nostalgia, and I'm starting out with this bright yellow shade here, Water Slide, and I'm just taking a small fluffy type brush and just gently placing that in my brow bone area. You guys, I had no idea what I wanted to do when I started this look. I just knew I wanted to kind of incorporate all of the colors or as many as I could. So I'm just gently going in, placing that on the upper portion of my lid just to have a nice shade to blend into. And you can see the shade here. It's not that it's not pigmented. I'm just not using a lot. So next I'm going into the orange shade, which is Vacation taking another very small fluffy brush and placing that just below that yellow or should I say I'm placing it right where I want it you know to be seen and you can still see the yellow if that makes sense I'm going in very gently with these colors today because I have once I got started, I have a certain look in mind and I know that I don't want to just place a big plop of color on my lid. I want to gently build it up. So that's what I'm doing. Just taking my time gently building these colors up. But they are pigmented, you guys. So don't think because I'm using a light hand that they're not pigmented. So next I'm going into this beautiful pink shade and I'm really going in very light handed with this because I want that to show up just beneath that orange taking a slightly larger fluffy brush medium size i would say and just gently applying that in my crease area 
because I'm pretty familiar with where I typically cut my crease now. So I kind of know where to place colors so that they'll still be seen. So yeah, I'm just placing that right beneath that orange and gently blending those two shades together. And lastly, I'm going into the darker purple shade, which is Carnival, and taking a more focused fluffy brush and just gently applying that <laughs> right below that pink. So you'll kind of see how the look comes together as far as this whole crease work goes um, and what I'm trying to do, creating this gradient as I, you know, create it slowly but I didn't want to have a lot of issues with trying to make every single color show and one color being too dark. So yeah, I did really, really take my time with this, slowly applying that color, gently blending it so you can see each color appear as I placed it down. And so, yeah, so you can see here that it's starting to come together just how I want it to, and I'm still able to see all of the colors show through. So yeah, I was really, really pleased with how the colors blended together very nicely. But yeah, I'm sure watching this video, you're like, they aren't very pigmented. No, I'm just going in with a very, very light hand because I didn't want a lot of color. So now that I have that gradient together, I need to pick one of these shimmer shades for Magical Makeup. It's an indie brand that I'm trying out from that I saw on Instagram. And I ended up going with the shade uh, Pixie Powder. As you can see here, it's actually like a duochrome. You guys can only see the green, but it goes purple. Like when you shift it, it definitely goes purple. So as you can see, I'm using my finger to kind of get as neat of a cut crease as I can. And then I'm going in with this sponge applicator just to try and, you know, make it a little bit neater right next to that purple and to drag out my outer corner. So, you know, it's kind of tricky when dealing with a shimmer, but I just wanted to kind of make it look as neat as possible. So this is what that shadow looks like. These shadows are gorgeous. I hate that you couldn't see the shift because it's really pretty. So yeah, I decided to go in with one of my wet cake liners. And this is a really, really gorgeous green one. It's called Soul Train from MBA Cosmetics. I love these cake liners. If you use too much, it will crack a little bit. So I try not to use too much or put it down too thick, but they're so vibrant, so bright. I love them. So moving on to the face, I am trying out this NYX Marshmallow Primer. <laughs> And I didn't feel like, you know, rubbing it all in with my hands because I have these long talons fingernails on. But yeah, I just used a brush to kind of blend it out all over my face. I don't know. Um, the jury's still out on this primer, you guys, because it's kind of confusing. I don't know what it's supposed to do besides create a barrier, which is fine, but it just, it feels weird. It's not sticky. It's not wet. It's not dry. I don't know what it is, but I'll keep you guys posted. So yeah, we're going in with the KBD Good Apple Foundation. It's really pretty. I love this packaging and it's so smooth before you use it. It's gorgeous. So yeah, I'm using a brush, a flat foundation brush, and I'm just kind of trying to get a little bit on the brush. And it didn't seem like I really put that much on the brush, but as you can see, yo, it's so true. They're not being dramatic, you guys. The coverage is real, <laughs> okay? And I was really shocked that it actually was a good color for me that I think I'm getting better, you know? I'm getting better at picking these foundation shades. At least some of them I nailed, but this one, I feel like I really did a good job. It's really, really matching me nicely. Um, it's going on smooth, as you can see. I didn't do anything to cover my dark circles under my eyes because I really wanted to see the coverage for this. And that's a good telltale sign for me is my dark circles and, you know, hyperpigmentation around my mouth. So. Yeah, just looking at it, you guys can see for yourself. Now, it's weird because it it's very, the coverage is nice, but it doesn't feel heavy. 
it doesn't feel greasy. It's just a nice coverage. Now, what I will say after I did have this foundation on, um, cause I did wear it for a good eight hours, honestly. And now that I'm doing the voiceover, <laughs> look at me thinking I got it going on, but yeah, after I wore it, you know, I did notice that every time I looked at my face, I felt like my oils were coming through. I don't know if I would suggest this for someone who has oily skin or is prone to get shiny a lot because, it does get kind of like oily looking to me in my opinion but it could be that marshmallow primer since that's new i think i'm going to try it with a mattifying primer as well to see what the difference is but as far as how it looked on my skin and how it played with the rest of my makeup it worked out just fine it wasn't heavy and i was very surprised about that but i was shining okay now, I didn't pull a new concealer. I'm just going in with my Juvia's Place, shade 11. If you're familiar with me, you guys know this is like my ride or die concealer that I love to death and use. So just going in, highlighting those, you know, areas that I want to brighten on my face, really, and trying to also handle those dark circles under my eyes a little bit since I didn't go in with any pre-foundation coverage. And so, yeah, just blending it out with a damp sponge just to get that looking right. Okay, so, yeah, and of course, no problems, no issues. I love that concealer. I decided to do a little bit of like contouring or bronzing with a cream, actually. So I'm using my Uma Beauty. This is one of their Take Two Sticks, I think is what it's called. Oh, Double Take sculpt and strobe stick so one side has the sculpting and the other side has a highlighter which i don't really use because i don't know i just don't but i'm just blending that out with that same sponge just creating a little bit of dimension bronzing around my face and i like how it looked <laughs> i don't always do that but i just wanted to do it today so i'm going in with my dj's boutique get baked powder and i'm just going in with the sponge tapping that in those areas where i placed down you know the concealer just to set that before i go in with my powder And so I am trying the LYS, which stands for Love Yourself Powders today. I got the face powder and I also picked up what I would say is a contour shade for me. So this is the face powder. And I, I, I mean, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You know, it, uh, it's very smooth, goes on nicely. Um, you know, I have to try face powders with different foundations because they just, it looks different with, for me with different foundations, if I can talk. Um, so yeah, just this first time using it, I'm not really sure how I feel about it yet. I don't have any complaints about it, but yeah, it's just, it's fine. So now I'm going in with the contour shade and basically just tapping that you know, in the areas and blending it out that I would typically contour, you know, my cheekbones, sculpting those out. I did place a little bit, you know, on my forehead and blend that out as well as, you know, my chin area and a little bit on the sides of my nose. I kind of just use the residue from what's left on my brush and my sponge for my nose. I don't actually put any on there, but yeah, it works great as a contour for me. Okay, so you guys, these Moira blushes, look at that, okay? Yeah, they're pigmented for sure. Very nice, very pretty. So I went in and just tapped some on my cheeks and I actually used that amount for both of my cheeks, as you can see, because it's nicely pigmented. So yeah, I think these blushes are gorgeous. Um, as far as staying power goes, um, as far as I can recall, on this day it did last i'm going to be using these for a while so i'll keep you guys updated but yeah from what i can recall it did last just fine i do like to add a little flush of color all over my face so yeah so far so good with the moira blushes 
Now I also decided to use this Plan and Makeup by Yolando highlighting quad. Now with this highlighter, it's gorgeous. It's not as smooth as I would like in a highlighter. It's not glittery, but as you can see, it doesn't have that just super smooth wet look that you know we typically go for that kind of lit from within you can definitely see that i'm wearing highlighter and that is not a natural highlight <laughs> it's definitely placed on my face so the the color is gorgeous and it's beautiful and it's not glitter but it doesn't give me that lit from within look that i like so for my eyeliner i'm trying out these beauty creations eyeliners that i got in that jumbo kit I got it has the eyeliners, the cream liners, the you know, colored bases and all that stuff. So I'm just going in with the purple and then I am going to be smoking out my lower lash line with that purple shadow once again. And I'm also going in and just kind of blending out the edge of that purple with the orange shadow because I don't want it to just, you know, be a harsh purple down there. So that's what I'm doing here. And I think it worked out nicely for that lower lash line. Now for my inner corner pop, I decided I didn't want to do a shimmer because, you know, my lid is shimmery enough. So I'm just going back in with that matte yellow shade and just tapping that in the inner corner. Yeah, it's okay to do a matte inner corner. You don't always have to do shimmer. And it adds that same dimension of brightness. I'm going in with some lashes here. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know what lashes these are because I don't have the packaging. But yeah, I felt like I needed something slightly dramatic so that, you know, it could handle this eye look. Going in with my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I'm almost done with it. I don't know if you watched my Shop My Stash. You'll notice I didn't pull a mascara because I'm trying to get through this one. And I really, really like it. So for my lips, I'm going in with my favorite lip liner. <laughs> the OGs know this is a ColourPop and Ellery lip liner. Really gorgeous, like wine type shade. I love it. And I'm going over that with one of my Fenty Beauty Cream Gloss Bombs. Y'all, y'all know I cannot see. This is the kind of like lavender type one you know the lavender shade it'll be down in the description box i know you guys can hear my dog and i feel like screaming right now because i'm in the middle of this voiceover <laughs> um and i don't do multiple takes i do my voiceovers in one shot so i'm not about to stop to yell at him so yeah i'm setting my face with this ColourPop no filter spray oh my goodness if he doesn't be quiet i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to pause okay so <laughs> yeah set my face with the ColourPop no filter spray and this is what we have so yeah hopefully you guys like it I really like purple and green together so I'm not surprised that I like this look I think it came out nice I like the palette as well so yeah I will catch you guys on the next one <laughs> thanks for watching toodles